notice the jack sinking down into the sand there. Jack's rolling, rolling back here. It's just flat. You're lifting up and up. Man's got too much moisture and it pushed through real well. It's probably good. Well, yeah, the base plate, you know, there are base plates out there. I don't think I've ever seen one with cables. Get out there and go for sure. I'm staying up right yeah, now. Notice that uh, it's not rolling the, back. The jack, jack isn't sinking in and the vehicle isn't rolling back at all. Wow. So the safe jack stabilizer really has made a huge difference here with uh, the, the uh, farm jack by itself. Uh, the, the Jeep was, the jack was sinking in, digging into the ground and the Jeep was being pulled backwards. And with the uh, safe jack stabilizer, uh, just took the Jeep straight up, uh, didn't sink into the soil and it's rock solid. I'm gonna, uh, walk over to the Jeep here and actually shake the Jeep now that it's it's on here. Get a good shaking. Pretty solid. You're stuck. <laughs> there, how's there. that? That's <laughs> stuck. <laughs> Axles in the dirt. Okay, uh, now Warren's going to try this with just the, uh, the farm jack alone. And as you can see, Reacting a little differently. The uh, <laughs> it's a pretty big base hole. plate just sunk down into the sand there. And it's tipping over. It's about ready to kick out on him. Your side tire is still down in the hole. And it fell off. A high lift jack with the the safe jack stabilizer. And you can see the uh, the jack does not have a tendency to tip over, and uh, both both the rear tires are being picked up out of the out of the ruts here. And away we go. Okay. There you go. Proof is in the pudding here. That's pretty good. And I'm going to go shake it here. Can't believe it's still hanging. Yeah. Those cables. Don't let it go so far. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Come take a look. Up. <laughs> I can't believe it's still hanging. Yeah. Uh.